And so through these partnerships and collaboratives, these tools and these resources, we're saying, guess what? You don't have to reinvent the wheel, but we're going to allow you to partner with us as an ambassador to get this information out in your respective community. And this is also a way of actually building, this is also a way of building your membership. It's like strategic marketing, strategic, you know, um, um, public, re public relations or promotions. This is a way to attract people to your cause and attract people to your respective mission. So, as I was saying, this is a definitive way that churches can attract new people in by getting the word out. We want to help you save your home. And we know there's no cookie cutter right. to um, the process, but we've got to start the process. Don't you agree? I couldn't agree with you more, Pastor uh, Sampson. I, I, Bishop Sampson, excuse me. Um, we're all servants. Uh, exactly. Yeah. We're exactly. kings, but we're servants. Uh, exactly. <laughs> I, you know, I... I want to hit on two things. I want to hit on this economic dignity that you talked about. Sure. And I want to just give you my, my take. Uh, you know, there's so many people, maybe it used to be a, uh, that people just stopped making payments or people mismanaged funds and they felt ashamed and they didn't want to go for help right. and they lost their home through foreclosure. That might be a small minority of, uh, of the people nowadays. Most of the folks, if they're not working, it's because they lost their job. If they're not paying, it's because they don't have the money. They need to seek help. And with regard to the, the imams, the, the rabbis, the pastors, the, the bishops, the leaders of, of their uh, parishes, I could not agree with you more that these are the folks that can make a huge difference, that can get this message out, that there are ways to help your congregants. And I look at all the t times, you said a word marketing, strategic marketing. We've seen synagogues, churches, places be uh, locations where unfortunately trusted folks create Ponzi schemes or, or sure. things that just are bad. So Ponzi schemes. I mean, yeah. it, 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 you know, so often we hear where things emanate through churches and synagogues and they're, well, they're loyalty groups because there's they're, affinity. Right. It's like affinity loyalty. Exactly. Yeah. This is something that should sweep through congregations because whether you utilize the technology that Vladis offers and, and Lonnie offers or whether you come through as an ambassador, you can offer a message on a broad scale, and statistically speaking, most congregations have high percentages of persons that are underwater on their own. Uh, so get this message out to them and tell them that there are places they can go to help, to get help, and tell them not to be ashamed, and tell them they can still have their dignity, and let them get some help. And so if, if houses of worship can spread that message, and if this emanates Again, it's going to be a win for, for everyone, including society.